COVID-19 cases have been increasing in Indonesia and officials have shortened the year in holidays. Tighter restrictions have been imposed in and out of certain provinces. Authorities have advised people against heading out of town during the year end holiday and they've tightened restrictions. Those looking to enter certain provinces, such as Jakarta, will have to take rapid antigen tests. And PCR tests are compulsory for those intending to fly to popular holiday spot, Bali. Since the new test requirement for Bali was announced, there have been over 130,000 ticket refund requests, amounting to more than 22 million US dollars in estimated returns. Indonesia has cut short its year-end holidays in a bid to curb the coronavirus outbreak. A planned 11-day break has now been shortened by three weekdays. Data from the last 10 months have shown a spike in coronavirus cases after extended holiday periods. Kita sudah pengalaman dengan tiga kali libur panjang mm-hmm. dan semua dari libur panjang itu uh, mengakibatkan peningkatan kasus antara 50 sampai 100 persen mm-hmm. sekitar uh, 14 hari, 10 mm-hmm. sampai 14 hari berikutnya. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dan itu jangan sampai kita ulangi lagi. Yeah. Maka dari itu pemerintah betul-betul mengatur liburan Natal dan Tahun Baru mm-hmm. dalam rangka Pelajarannya cukup tiga kali saja gitu, yeah. jangan empat kali. In Jakarta, the epicenter of Indonesia's COVID-19 outbreak, stricter restrictions to curb movement and social activity are in place from 18th of December to 8th of January. These include limiting operating hours and crowd numbers in places such as malls, restaurants and places of worship. Public celebrations ahead of the new year will also be banned.